the uh, turbine and second law efficiency or exergetic efficiency. So here goes. I have a turbine and you can introduce a control volume around that turbine. So we have mass flow rate coming in and going out and it's just one inlet, one outlet, steady state, so M dots through the system. It brings in its flow exergy and goes out with the flow exergy. Well, if it's a turbine, is, which one is larger? The flow exergy in is larger, isn't it? Because it's producing useful work. So some of that exergy is coming out of the fluid stream and is going into the work, this power out. All right. So let's do an exergy balance for our system. We can write it down where it's steady state. There's 1 minus T naught over TB times Q dot, but there's no heat transfer for the turbine. Our most common assumption when you analyze a turbine is it's insulated. It's, there's no heat transfer to the surroundings, so Q dot zero. Then we'll have minus W dot. That's the same right here. Then we'll have M dot times EF1 minus EF2, change in the flow exergy from inlet to outlet, minus the exergy destruction rate. Did I write that equation correctly? Look good? OK. What we want to do is that we want to think about interpreting this equation. So what I'll do is I'll write this. M dot EF1 minus EF2 is equal to W dot plus E dot D. Okay, there's a little bit of algebra, but I swapped some terms. I want you to look. Did I do the algebra correct from that? those two equations? Look good? Thumbs up? I see a couple head nods, but let me... Can you give me a thumbs up if you agree? Okay, good. So what it is, is we can interpret this. This is the, the exergy that's coming into the control volume and it's coming into the control volume from the fluid the fluid stream the fluid stream it's coming out of the fluid stream where is that exergy going it's going two places one it's going out of the control volume with the shaft work or the shaft power and where else is it going out or away it's being destroyed. See? It's being destroyed. True? So you can interpret this as so many kilowatts. Let's say I had 50 kilowatts coming out of the fluid stream and maybe 30 kilowatts went into shaft power and you know that then 20 kilowatts had to be destroyed. True? Now the goal would be to minimize this destruction. Don't we want to minimize? It's just wasted potential to do useful work. You didn't destroy energy, you did destroy the ability to do useful work if you have exergy destruction. So they say, look, at, now that we have this concept of both the first law and the second law, coming into play, why don't we have an exergetic efficiency? The book uses a symbol epsilon for the exergetic efficiency. And it'll be the ratio of something that you want to have a lot of divided by what you had to pay for. What you want over what it cost. That's a good ratio for efficiency. So what did we want? We wanted a lot of power out of this turbine. What did we have to pay for? Well, it comes at the expense. It doesn't run. It doesn't work unless there's a change in the exergy coming out of that fluid stream. And so now you can see that what does epsilon do? How can it get to 100% by having exergy destruction go to zero? True? That's how you do it. And as exergy destruction increases, the exergetic efficiency, also known as the second law efficiency for the turbine, goes down. 